you dumped him at Muscle Man's wedding. Yeah, no one has. He hasn't come to work for two weeks now. I've been calling, but he won't pick up. What? No, here, I'll call him. <laughs> Chapter one, Night's Origin. I think that's what it's called. I have not been back to him. There's not many. Oh my gosh, there's not even that many. It's close. Okay. Yeah, <coughs> but it was the last place left to look. Welcome to King's Quest. Oh, smoke. There's no way someone heard that. I'm inside that cave. It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. Okay. Damn it, damn it. Two. Odd contraptions has guarded the lost treasure. I would have to turn one and see what happened. I'm, I'm gonna go with right. Oh yeah, too easy. Come on. From stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. Don't worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. Beneath a slumbering Whoa. pile of teeth and claws was... Fabled Mirror! Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, dragons are my favorite. You want to tell this part? Yes. King Edward sent me 
the greatest knight in all of Daventry, on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... in my way to... <laughs> my way to... add a shinier hat to my collection. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tethered with it, creating some silly conundrum. Conundrum. Yeah. handle was booby trapped what did you do well I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap <laughs> then I used my cleverness to hide uh... How does brother not see them toes sticking out? Uh, <laughs> Luckily, that half-blinded beast never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. What did you use to fix the broken switch? That was so freaking loud, it took down two boulders. The dragon's chains were coiled around a gigantic switch mounted to the cave wall. After he briefly basked in the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I'd probably sleep all day too, if Amira was my only friend. Is that a skeleton?
That scared the crap out of me. Hey, 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 hey. Boom, put the bomb, put the bomb, put the bomb. I, this trap, thought they were pretty clever, but I would probably find a way to hit that unreachable switch. Unreachable. Oh, jeez. Just took a bow from a dead body. That's awesome. What? A ridiculous feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast and probably its owner alive. Oh, smoke. Oh, what the? How did he hit that?
Come on, With the magic mirror safely in my possession, I dreamt of the Daventry I would be rewarded with, and the kingdom it could become. my path to safety and all would have rippling consequences. Shoot the eye, shoot that. What's the other option? You're being blind forever now, pal. could barely grip the rope, but with the last of my strength, I climbed out of the well and headed back to the castle. Ever since the magic mirror <coughs> returned, its reflections have warned mm -hmm. the kingdom of danger, kept our family safe, and it yeah. has exposed many troublesome crumbs tangled in my beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Edward was so proud that you returned his lost treasure that he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? Gwendolyn, there is so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim. Sewn into the seams of many hidden adventures. All right, let's get back to the dragon. Tell me everything. Where can I learn to shoot like that? A good mentor. And practice. This wasn't the first time I went eye to eye with that hideous beast. And while that shot was certainly in self defense, that arrow was a bit vengeful, I'm afraid. But let's continue that story in the daytime. It's about to get a tad more scary. Dragons don't scare me, even those with all their eyes. If I ever come across that dragon, I'll finish him off for you. And I'll be known throughout Daventry as Gwendolyn the Brave. That's quite a <laughs> that's quite a bold plan. One that requires a steadfast gut and a deft hand. All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been. Though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. You get through it. Guards! Well, hello, 
Hello, cousin. <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa stories, especially the ones with dragons. Ah, oh, yes, the legendary beast he went eye to eye with. I don't know if he forgets I've heard that story before or if he doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes, doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and we'll make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. <coughs> um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. So I guess this game is just told off of memories of this old guy from when he was like... Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. Oh my Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now, let's talk about far more important issues. Like that fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Scott you're worried about, he's no bother. After all, I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... Treating my opponents with respect. You'd be surprised what opens up to you. <coughs> a lovely fellow once told me the fastest way to anyone's heart is through their stomach. <laughs> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story. One I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. I want that all in the a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. Oh my Why don't you just like slide your feet, you know, like <laughs> repelling down the cliff? I welcome the sight of the actual world, the first sign of civilization. Over here? No, that's the way we came. Grandpa! You can't leave Triumph. Don't worry, Triumph can fend for himself. We've been through our share of sticky situations, but he always comes around when I need him most.
Whoa. How can a horse even what the I could have sworn the parade of hopeful knights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. It seemed my first few minutes at Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? What's this? That hard horn seemed to be missing some sort oh. of mouthpiece. <clears throat> with this path over here what the freak someone riding someone a flavor strange tracks blaze the trail to the forest Those look like tire tracks or roots. Yeah, those are like tire tracks. Those aren't roots, those are like tire tracks. How the, how the freak did you get a car all the way down here? Oh, look, like a toolbox right there. I wondered what those birds needed a toolbox for. Shay, the only two left seem to be a small hat. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. <coughs> that wheel seemed freshly broken. That wheel seemed freshly broken. Now it all seems freshly broken. Yeah, these are tire tracks. I do not know. I do not know how someone got. Oh, it's just a little cabin, I guess. I don't know. Stand back, <coughs> you dirty thieves! Wah! Oh, it's just a boy. Don't know where he's from, but it must be hard to pronounce. You know, you should never sneak up on a guy in a dangerous place like. No! Oh! What's wrong with your foot? Probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed. Don't worry, I got just the fix for that. Tell me, is it more of a... Ow! Oh, or a... Oh, oh. Either way, the Merchant of Miracles has got you covered. But it'll cost you. I risk my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Huh, here it is. I massage this into my skin twice a day, and just look at my little biscuits. <clears throat> well, now that I've mulled it over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh, such exquisite material. Hey, mm -hmm. I knew you weren't from around here. Well, you best get going. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait, you're stuck here with me. Every virgin is out, and my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I swear that rock leaped straight out of the water. Now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say, I'll bet a fine strapping young man like you could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, could you repeat that? Try to keep up, son. Bridges out, failed shortcut, flying rock, wheel broke, be a strapping lad, get tools, fix wagon, get a lift to the tournament. Okay. <coughs> oh, can I pet your goats? Stay away from my majestic unicorns. What the heck? 
Perhaps there was a wheel on the other side of that river. Too bad I couldn't swim. Yeah. How did you get across that river? I I used the axe. Those are big freaking chunks. That missing wheel had me stumped. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. Ugh. Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. What's the matter? <coughs> you don't like the timbre of my voice? You'll warm up to the puns. These are terrible. Yeah. Nah, leave it on, leave it on to me. I'm so stupid. There's a path down that way, but I think it's blocked. I mean, it is blocked. It's with a bush, I think. Oh, look, it's the well. An overgrown patch of spiniferous thorn weeds obstruct the path. <coughs> <coughs> the well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I just found it. person in Daventry, not at the parade? No, there's people there. Look like a blacksmith shop of sorts. That sign was asking for tips, and there was a metal pan to collect coins. Big, round, that should do the trick. And then you scooped up all the weapons, right? Right? No, Gwendolyn, I didn't. I was looking for a wheel, not a fight. Whoa! Ah, a shortcut. I told you, there is a path. Do I really have to hear the story about how you took forever to tiptoe across that fallen tree again? Oh, I guess not. Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. I thought this might do the trick. A shield, eh? Whoa, it matches impeccably with the delicately crafted color scheme of this entire operation. Makes quite the bold statement. Mm-hmm, just like my shorts. This is perfect. I hope you didn't pay too much for it. Oh, wait, before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? Oh, sounds good. I love a deal. <laughs> so do I, boy. So do I. If I see one, I'll let you know. Here you are. Now, let's vamanoose from this metal land, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. Yo! Mr. Fancy 
eradicate! Ah, heal! Halt! A mess! <laughs> Stop! We sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our luxury cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch your head on exit. Th thanks for the hospitality. No time to lounge, my boy! Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. Watch your step! We wouldn't want any tears in that illustrious cape! Fun voyage, buttercup! Don't forget about us working folk. Especially when your pockets are full of riches. Did he steal my gold? I gave him one gold, right? Yeah, he stole my gold. Stupid monkey. <coughs> Come at me, bees! Abandoned post! Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe he was talking to me. This tired argument is getting on my nerves. No need to argue about the fact that I am... Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Follow the, the tree, I guess. Oh, well, barricade. Cutting each other up. They're like,
Barabap. I left the hatchet lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? Quite sure. Everyone always asks me about that hatchet. It gets a tad annoying. Huh? Don't. 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 Yes. Um, how did you know my name? Well, you'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. I also observed that without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. Uh, thanks, I guess. They'll never acknowledge it, you know. Graham, Those the who use their minds over their biceps are never woven into the tapestries of time. I can tell you're like me. A creative thinker, an intellectual. To win this competition, you'll need but to prove that your talents power. are more powerful than their strength, agility, and speed. You'll also need a How friend. How long is King's really Quest? Friend. They call me Manny. Pleased to meet you. So, friend, what's your favorite color? Do you like popcorn flavored jelly beans? Because I do. What's your availability for sleepovers? Are we in a chapter secret one club? Is at least I don't know. <laughs> Green. I prefer and pizza the whole game is I'm free on hours. Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I would say more of a secret alliance. Alliance? This competition will not be easy, and Daventry needs men like us. If we put our heads together, we might have a shot. What's the plan? If you win, put a good word in for me with the king. And if I win, I'll do the same. Soon, we'll both be moving up the ranks in the castle together. We should oh. head inside the theater, though. Let me know how I can help. Let me get, can you help me get up? Do you want the voices to stop? To the front of the stage, please. Now that we have recovered our list, it is my duty to inform you that you are officially signed in. Yay. And I do want to apologize. I am very, very terribly sorry. But we've run out of commemorative tote bags. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. Is the next event about to start? Not so fast, pocket boy. The tournament bylaws explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting to know you type exercises. You know, an icebreaker before we start in on the usual death, destruction and duels of a cutthroat nature. Don't forget about Amendment 70, Article 4. I was getting to that, thank you. In the spirit of equal opportunity, the new rules state that you can schedule a makeup chivalry test if and only if the circumstances for your absence were extenuating. So, I will ask, what were your extenuating circumstances that made you late for the tournament? Well, I, I never heard the date was switched. Mm-hmm. I'll just pencil in hard of hearing. Now? Go on, mingle with the other contestants, find out as much as you can about them, and when you're ready for the chivalry test, come and see me. The riches with the edges of my fingertips. Hey there, I'm Graham. Charm, I'm sure. And your name? What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you jest, Greg. What rock did you crawl out from? <laughs> How do you not recognize this well-proportioned face? 
Well, it's not Greg, it's Graham. And, uh, of course, I know who you are. You're... You're... Every woman's dream? Well, you got that right. The ladies love, 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 love... Who? Who? Who do they love, Gabe? It's not Gabe, it's... Oh, never mind. Yes, your name... You are... You're... <laughs> Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. Garrett. Ah. Oh, hey, Graham. What the frick we were are just you sharing some tips about the tournament? Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever. These silly buns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. You see this one, you that one? Hey, uh, thanks for knocking that log over out there. Really? He gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. Those knights were annoying me, and I wanted some alone time. Leave me be, little fly. You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I, I don't want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test, and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. Well, make it quick. Then buzz off. What was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, feather boy. Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. I'm Graham. Graham Cro No. No last names. I don't even want your first name. And your name? I'm known throughout the land as Sir Conference, but I am currently in the process of rebranding myself, starting with my name. You should call me Acorn. I'll leave you be. Go away. Yes, Graham? Oh, you want that. some dirt on someone? What can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. What kind of a weirdo does that? Imagine what else he's hiding under there. Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. What do you want? I, uh, heard what you're hiding. No, you didn't, skinny pants. I did. I heard a rumor that a tiny squirrel pet lives under your belly. What? Who told you that? I bet it was Whisper. He's the worst. His ego is the one thing I can't stomach. And she, well, she's not my pet. She's my friend. I'll leave you be. You need to get lost. Right. You again? Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name is Princess Madeline of Avalon. She's a proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. I'll leave. Scram! I'll leave. Scram! Unveiled itself. Yes. Have you remembered my name? Whisper. Correct. Well, Whisper's full name is Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. The third. Hailing from Modesto. But I'm sure a fan like you knew that. Would you like an autograph? Huh. I don't seem to have any portraits on me. Well, if you find one, I'll sign it. Free of charge. 
Whisper loves his fans. Whisper loves the knighthood. Oh. Whisper loves thwarting evil. But most of all, Whisper loves Whisper. As do we all. I should be getting back to my chivalry test now. Don't go. Whisper can do it. That's a nice thought, but I'm pretty sure those guards would never confuse you for me. I mean, your armor is pretty recognizable. Whisper's armor is shiny because Whisper loves his own reflection. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Good day, Whisper. Hello, my name's Graham. Nice to meet you. Achaka. Achaka. So, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? Achaka. Nice, nice. I prefer the hand-whittled sapling arrows myself. So, where do you hail from? Achaka. I see. Sounds exotic. Want to partner up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? Achaka. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably just slow me down. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. Yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? I what can you tell me about Achaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> He got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance, but the translation isn't quite working. Okay, what can you tell me about Whisper? Whisper? Huh. His feet might fly by without a sound, but his mouth never will. A shining star in his hometown, he hopes to rebuild his fan base in Daventry. I've heard he'll do anything for the spotlight and can never be outshined. People at Arrakan are usually primed for a fall. Don't you think so? Yeah. Sound okay. good? Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. Take a chivalry. <coughs> the chivalry test. Are you ready for the chivalry <coughs> test? Yes. Let's do it. Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? That's easy, that. Manny, Manny, we're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right, next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. A chaka. Okay. A chaka. Moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? A chaka. Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. the Third of Modesta. I'm sure. I see. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Okay, let's see here. Telling. 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 It looks like you got all the answers correct. Great <laughs> job, Pockets. <coughs> now, we shouldn't keep your new friends waiting, should we? Let's start the show. Welcome, everybody. You were all here to win a knight position on King Edward's court. But that's not all. As you all know, tragically, the king has no heirs. So, this position could very well lead to the crown oh of Daventry itself. Oh, 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 oh. Now, let's officially commence the competition part of the tournament. Shut I up. do hope you've all made friends, because it's about to get nasty. The time has come to collect your entrance tickets. Oh, uh, oh over here! Over here, I got mine right here! I'm sorry, I really am, but that is not an entrance ticket. In fact, from up here, it looks like a, a sweaty piece of cloth. Oh, probably just a snot rag. <laughs> Each night hopeful will need to bring back to the theater, dum 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 dum, one eye of a hideous beast. And due to Proclamation 1748.2, it will actually need to be a hideous beast. Not like last year. No adorably cute, fuzzy, or tiny creature eyes will be accepted. Thank you. Nothing to see here. There are many hideous eyes to find in Daventry. We urge you to take this opportunity to show us your skills. We want to know what's in your heart, how you think, 
and how you react in the face of danger. You might not believe all that can be interpreted from one eye, but we will still judge you all the same. Now, everyone, go forth and claim thine eyes. Whisper can do it. Watch your step, kid. Oh, thanks. I know it ain't fancy, but it'll have to work for now. Amaya Blackstone, nice to meet you. Graham, the pleasure's mine. It's nice to see all these bridges are getting fixed. All these bridges? No, kid. This contract is over. Daventry can't afford me anymore. They can't even afford oil for the crumbler over there. My own invention, of course. Oh, what does a crumbler do? It lifts, it chops, it crumbles. Most importantly, it brings in the monies, which are desperately needed. Been kind of rough around here lately. It seems that way. Daventry's been an interesting experience so far. Different from what I read in my travel books. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if it's for me. Don't worry, kid. It's not you. This kingdom's been going downhill ever since the Queen died. And now, with the bridges out, no one can get into Daventry. It's really quiet. I hate the silence. I'm a woman of action, if you couldn't tell. Quiet towns don't pay the bills. I can see that. Well, I should get going. Perhaps someone's wandered into my shop. If you make it there, come say hi. I'm on the left. Alright. I'm gonna end it here. I've been playing for like an hour now. And I got to this part, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah.